Hello and welcome to tutorial 7, creating a melody with a C A minor F G chord progression in GarageBand on an iMac. I'm Lyndall Murphy and I'll be taking you through this tutorial. Firstly, we'll look at the finished product from tutorial 6. Okay, so we're going to add another track and we're going to go track, new track, play software instrument and click create. And we're going to change this instrument just to an orchestral woodwind instrument. You can use other instruments if you wanted to, but the woodwind instrument I'm going to choose is a saxophone melody, just so it's nice and clear and easy to hear in the mix. So I'll just test if that works with the keyboard I'm using. Okay, and we're ready to record our melody. But before we record our melody, let's find out how we can actually record a melody that will sound really good with our chord progression. If you're new to recording melodies with a C, A minor, F, G chord progression, a melody is pretty much the main tune of a song, so when you hear a chord progression you need to think of how you can create the melody or the main tune of the song which won't clash with your chord progression. So our first chord is the C major chord in our chord progression. This chord has the notes C, E and G in the chord, so when you're playing a melody you need to base your melody around those notes so they don't clash in the first bar. Our second chord is an A minor chord and this chord has the notes A, C and E in it. So with this one you need to base your melody around A, C and E in the second bar. With our third chord, it's an F major chord which has the notes F, A and C. So you need to base your melody around these notes in the third bar. Our final chord that we've used is G major as the fourth chord. And the notes within this chord is G, B and D. So you'll need to base your melody around these notes in the fourth bar so you don't have any clashes. So here's an overview of all the notes that are in each of these chords, the C, A minor, F and G chords. To make our melody a little bit more interesting, we can add in passing notes. So when you play your melody, try to add in passing notes around the main notes of each chord. An example that we could use is playing C, D, E to C, or the melody Frere Jaca on beats 1, 2, 3 and 4 in the first bar where the C major chord is played. So let's record our melody using these passing note techniques. So we've recorded our melody using uh, the passing note technique. Just make sure that with your first note, so as you can hear it didn't play that first time, um, we need to adjust that first note so it is heard on that first beat. So as you can see, the MIDI here is coming in slightly before beat one of bar one. So if we move it slightly over, it will play. And our melody is looking pretty good. It's nice and neat. There's no wrong notes in there. And it's always good to check your notes if they're not um, the right melody. You can always go into your MIDI or your score layout and change that around if you need. If you found the score hard to follow along with, here is a demonstration of me using the musical typing keyboard um, on the screen here. So we'll just make a few settings, change the octave to where we need it to go. 
and we're ready to record. do is play back this melody that I've recorded um, and you can see the notes also on the on-screen keyboard. And also a reminder, always save your work before you close it down or move on to something else. To view more information on recording a melody on the iPad version of GarageBand, please see part two of tutorial seven for more information.